long wait's over. Two eBay purchases, one for repair, the other to replace a Mark I, 150. You can see clearly that this is the Tyco Smokebox boiler mold for my Rogers 460 locomotive, which I will open and install. And in this package, 150 the second, or 150 2.0. I want to get on with opening the first package, considering that, well, the 150's been out of action for a while, and I love that engine. So, let me figure out... And we're in. Bachman Dixie Line locomotive and caboose. I know it's got the tender because, duh, it's a tender locomotive. Actually, this may take a while. Oh, never mind. With these boxes with a press to confirm grip, you know you're going to need brute force. Well, that's a nicely looking package. Yeah, with something like this, there's a confirm, that's a confirmation that the locomotive is looking nice. And here is the new 150. Holding a camera in my one hand and actually on opening it is not a profound pra practice, but... There it is. And it's the one with the metal axles. You can always tell by the metal screw that is found, obviously here, as I had mentioned before in previous or somewhere in chat sites. But yeah, this was probably split from a set because that's the only way you can get this locomotive. And now let's get the tender car and a caboose out. Oh, this is looking crisp. Yet missing one lamp iron, but hey, mine's missing both of them, but I'm not I'm not gonna complain. I'm just happy to have the 150 again. And finally, the caboose that comes with it. Kind of forgot this caboose had these decals. This was the lot that I've ordered off eBay, and it's looking pretty decent so far. Aside from missing a decal piece on the tender, but it's okay. As long as it runs, then I'm good. There was another thing I noticed, is that this engine is dusty. So there was some amount of usage in it before the old boy was purchased. That, and this caboose is missing one pair of wheel, a coupler, but has the new coupler, or the Buckeye. So yeah, I'll just get the Tyco smoke box door out now. And sealed it keys. The smoke box door for my 10 wheeler. I'm just going to get the engine on the track and do a little maintenance for the 10 wheeler.
for a used engine. He runs pretty well. I guess you can officially say the 150 is back in service. And this time, for real. No replacement chassis, no wobbly wheels, no nothing. Backman did right, giving this engine metal axles. What were they thinking? Give them these oogly plastic axes. <laughs> but enough humor. Now let's see how Sally looks with the smoke box door on. She looks like a real restoration engine now. Only thing is, she needs a new lead weight because that one screw suddenly broke. Plus, a new tender axle. This bit here, because that one broke, and this replacement is really plastic and is not touching the rails at all. And finally, a whistle dome, and maybe some handrails. I could either make handrails or just buy one on eBay. But either way, she's getting there. It's just a long way to go, though. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.